Hey everybody, my name is John Veska, also known as Electric Trumpet on Reddit. I run the Electric Trumpet subreddit as well as the website as my, at microcosmologist.com. And I'm here today with a review of the Solid Gold FX Envelope Filter Funkzilla. And we're going to talk about all the functions of this pedal as it pertains to electric trumpet playing. So I'm going to do some playing, I've got everything hooked up, and uh, hopefully you guys find this informative. All right, so let's have a look at the pedal. Hopefully you guys can hear this. I've got everything. Uh, I'm recording th through a Shure SM57 as well as my Audio-Technica ATM350 and the trumpet transducer right here, which is actually going through the pedal board itself. Um, but before we do anything with that, let's just have a look at the pedal itself. Uh, as you can see, it looks super awesome. If you feel like you want it, uh, that's because the brilliant uh, designers at Solid Gold FX are very good when it comes to making very cool looking pedal designs. It's got this little Godzilla on the corner, it says Funkzilla in big letters. It's undeniably awesome looking. Um, so aside from that, we've got five knobs on the top. I don't know how well you can see these. I'm going to flip the screen on so I can see what I'm doing better. Um, first one up here is speed. Uh, the second one is mode, which I'm going to actually turn uh, fully counterclockwise to disable. Uh, then we've got our depth control, the frequency of the attack, uh, which you can actually hear right now. And then the attack, which is a very, very useful knob for an envelope filter. So if you're not interested in this pedal specifically, but you are interested in envelope filters, uh, an attack knob is very important. I've tried other auto -waz which is another name for an envelope filter. And if you don't have an attack knob with the right range on it, it will literally do nothing. So you have to have this, especially for trumpet, because most envelope filters are going to be intended for guitar or bass or some other instrument that is not the trumpet. Frequency, um, I'll put that higher. I think it sounds better. I've been playing with this in a few different jams. So right now, um, there's four switches, as you can see here. This first one here pertains only to tap mode. So we've got tap slash envelope here on the end. I have it on envelope right now. I'm going to switch it to tap. Now you can see this uh, light comes on with the speed. Uh, so if I adjust the speed, you can hear that doing its thing. Um, and then this is a, a multiplier for that. So four is like super high speed. Two is in the, med is in the middle and then one is slow speed. Uh, so I'm just going to start <coughs> doing some playing here with some different settings and you can see what it does. Uh, I like the square fun the square wave here. You also have sort of a ramp wave and then a sine wave. Oh, and you can flip the direction of the attack using this direction switch here. So as you can see, you've got a ton of options, a ton of options. But if you're like me, I'm guessing you probably arrive at your favorite setting and kind of end up sticking with that. Uh, one final note about this, I've got this in front of my wah pedal uh, because I think that I prefer to have this doing its thing and then sculpt the overall tone on top of that rather than feeding the wah into this which kind of confuses it uh, as for you know being able to do its attack. So let's do some playing. <coughs> So you can see it sounds cool if you add other effects to it. So I just added a tiny bit of delay right there. I might do a little bit more of that as I go along, just uh, tossing some delay on top to kind of give it an extra little punch. So you can hear what it sounds like in the context of a full board as you'd be really using it. So let's see, I'm going to switch back to square wave and uh, let's mess with the envelope function for a little bit and you can hear that because that's really what I like about any envelope, this pedal included. <laughs> Wow. 
So yeah, the envelope is pretty sweet. Uh, Auto Wah in general is a really cool effect. It's very funky, uh, as the name implies. Uh, I'll go through some of the other functions here. Really what separates this pedal from a lot of other envelope pedals out there is the fact that it's got all this oscillator functionality. So you've got all these different, in the tap mode here, all these different settings you can run it on. And uh, I haven't even adjusted the mode yet, so I'm just going to play with that for a little bit and you can sort of hear what it does. So you can hear there, it's sort of running through different patterns, different patterns of, of waves that you can note with this light right here. Uh, and uh, the other solid gold effects pedals use kind of the same oscillator section. So I, I think they probably tossed it on because they thought, hey, it really wouldn't take that much effort to put all these crazy oscillators in here and people might dig that. <laughs> It might sound pretty cool to actually put this pedal after a delay, then you can kind of feed it a, a continuous stream of stuff and uh, the, neat th the neat things that this oscillator is doing can really come out. I don't have it set up that way, this is almost at the beginning of my chain, so what it's doing is affecting exactly what I'm playing and then any reverb that I'm adding is coming after this. But I think this gives you a pretty good idea overall of, of what's going on with this pedal. You've got many different oscillator modes with this mode dial, which is selecting different wave patterns for you. Uh, and then you've got a ton of speed control. You can pretty much any speed imaginable with this. So actually before I move on, let's do like some, one of these super fast ones. You can hear what's that, what that's like. So it gets really, really fast at the high end of this, which produces an interesting sound. <laughs> Some interesting playability in there as you're tweaking this uh, real time with the knob. Uh, one last thing I'll mention is you can connect an expression pedal. So you can't see it in the way I've got the video framed. But there is an expression jack right here on the other side. It makes a lovely thunderous bump when you plug it in. So now uh, I believe the expression, yeah, so the expression pedal as I'm moving it, it's controlling the speed here. 
So as uh, you know, you could do what I just did basically if you were a guitar player or, or another instrument that didn't have a free hand to manipulate this speed dial as you're, as you're playing it. You can do that with the expression pedal. Kind of pairs nicely with that really fast uh, slapback delay, which I was kind of throwing in and out throughout that little section there. But uh, I think that pretty much covers all the bases on this pedal here. Chime in in the comments if you liked it or if you wanted to know more. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get the audio directly from the pedal board to give you the most accurate sound of what it actually sounds like. Uh, hopefully if I can wrangle all this technology. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.